Hi guys and gals, I'm back for another video. I'm going to be making some stuffing. So my bread is already in a bag. I'm going to show you the other way to like have like a piece of bread and you just dry it. I usually put it in the oven for about maybe two or three minutes and I just keep flipping it over. I'll show you that in a recipe, but I just wanted to show you some stuffing, some quick stuffing. So I'll be using this. So that's my little bread. And it's just that. It's dry. So it's just in a bag. So when you have like leftover bread and it's going to go bad, I'll show you the other way in a different recipe. But I just wanted to show you this one real quick. I have green bell pepper. I'd say about a half of a cup. I'm going to combine that. I'm going to put some garden celery, about a half a cup. Half a cup of onions, and that came from the garden. Whew, that's cold. Alright, those are in. I need some garlic powder. About a teaspoon. made it into the measuring cup. <laughs> Sorry. Add a teaspoon of onion powder. White pepper. I'm going to go a third of a teaspoon. I'm a baby and I can't handle lots of spices. Some rosemary spice. About a teaspoon. If you guys want less, go less. But I like like lots of spices are good for me. I'm using thyme. Thyme spice. I have little stems in here that I gotta take out because you don't eat the. Oh, that smells so fresh. A teaspoon of thyme. Some poultry seasoning. About a half a teaspoon. And I'm just going to combine this. I to get my hands a quick room. I'm going to be using some olive oil. I'm going to put it on the pan that I'm going to be cooking it in because I'm not going to stuff a turkey or a chicken. You can also stuff a duck too with stuffing. So I'm just spreading it around. I did like a tablespoon, but if you want less, go less. I just like a little bit of flavor. 
And then you also get easy cleanup at the same time. So I thought that was great. into the mixing bowl. I'm gonna put chicken volume. This kind of really good. It's sodium free. Into the mixing bowl. Did some warm water, so I just let the water run a little bit. I need some vegetable base. Combined to the measuring cup. I think I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon. And since this stuff has salt in it, I will make sure I'm not going to add more salt because I don't want to be, I don't want the stuffing to be too salty. Less salt, the better. You can scramble your egg with a, with a, or you can use a fork. So you got a whisk, or you can use a fork. And I just pour the egg on there. In the bowl with the stuffing. I'm gonna pour this in the there water as well. and vegetable base into the mixing bowl. And I need one more cup. Just mix, mix the stuffing up until it sucks up a little bit of the water. Spices are a little strong. Whew. I mean, it smells great, but I don't think I'm going to be sneezing soon. Whew. All right, I'm going to put, I think, a tablespoon of butter into the mixing bowl. 
But if you have somebody that's dairy free, you don't have to put butter in here in the stuffing. This does have uh, gluten in it though. So if you want to make a gluten free, go a gluten free bread. And that's the butter I'm using. Okay, you do a quick mix. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm just gonna pour it in my pan. like so bake at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes and then it's done there's your homemade stuffing all right guys and gals see you in the next video